Good afternoon, everyone. Carrie Malcolm right here. Total body strength. It's almost 5 p.m., so just uh, waiting to see people logging on. So last week had a great crowd, unbelievable. So hope you people will join me today. Remember, you can share this video with anybody um, at South Coast YMCA. Um, why without walls virtual is going to keep going at least and through August through August so um, into maybe even September so um, it's been working out really well um, instructors from all over Wareham Dartmouth um, New Bedford Swansea Fall River who am I forgetting did I get everybody I think so um, so again it's been nice to see all of those folks um, Today, we, we've got total body strength for you, but we do spin, we've been doing Tabata, we've been doing um, rhythm and moves, or Zumba. Um, hi, Patty, how are you? So lots of things out there to do. Pilates, Jenna, gonna give you a shout out. Um, yoga, so you can also at the same time go to, hi, Sassy, um, you can also go to the Wise as well, your local branches, you have to sign up and there are certain, um, it's going up every week. So um, over the last couple of weeks, it's been nine folks per real live class at the Y location. Now we're up to 11. Um, so that's been awesome. So it'll keep going up. And of course, the Ys are open. They opened yesterday. So uh, isn't that cool too? Finally, I'm going to do my first workout tomorrow. I think I'm going to do uh, chest and triceps tomorrow. Actually at the Y. I can't get, wait to get back to those cables. So um, okay, see some people out there. Jen just gave you a little plug. Gentle Pilates, Sundays. Although you're teaching this Sunday, you said you were away. So anyway, but listen, I know I don't have a cool headband like Jen Hader had last week, but um, I do have a newer shirt on. So hopefully that will hold all of you guys over. But <laughs> I've moved this video a couple times because my neighbors were having some type of cookout. So my dog was barking and the cat was going nuts. So I've been all over the place. I was out on the other deck. Now I'm on this deck. Then I was inside. I'm like, where am I going to go? So, so I think I'm right here. I think I'm safe. Um, my dog is uh, in the house, so hopefully everything will be great. Yeah, Sassy, you know how it is, right? Dogs barking. It's just crazy. Although your dogs don't usually kind of move across your area, but it is what it is, right? <laughs> I know Sarah, uh, Sarah Gage has a dog as part of the actual workout. That's so cute. I love that. All right, so without further ado, I'm just going to start. Let me tell you a little about, well, is it five o'clock yet? I don't know. Time check. Um, here's the workout. The workouts, um, the ladder has been really, really popular. So here's my ladder. Okay, so the ladder is going to be, we've got only three blocks of work um, today, but one of the blocks of work is going to be ladders again. So here's Jess Miller. Beautiful. So three blocks of work, but the second block of work has four different exercises. Count them, four. So we'll go 10, 8, 6. Okay, so hey, Gail, how are you? Thanks for joining me. So you need, okay, probably something a little bit heavier. Okay, so we're gonna do some back pulls. And then you need something a little bit lighter because we're gonna do some side raises um, and, and things that you, uh, triceps. Okay, hi Jeannie, how are you? So um, we'll do, we're actually do, wow, okay, we got 13, awesome. So so a lightweight and a heavyweight and you can alternate or something in between, you can alternate whatever it is that you think you wanna do. I always start with legs, but I have to say this morning I did a 25 mile ride and I'm a little bit tired today. So I'm gonna start with some lunges and then do some calves. And it's gonna be mostly an arm concentration with some new um, core work that I got from one of my friends, Barb O'Donnell's, who's one of the greatest trainers I know, besides you, Patty Chen, um, and Vivian, if you're out there. Um, and of course, Jen Hader. <laughs> Did I get everybody in? Um, but anyway, so she's, I'm gonna take that from her. It's a bridge to a side plank, to an elbow plank, and then back around, okay? So we're gonna do that toward the end. So again, 10, eight, six, Three blocks of work. The first block we do all 10, 10 for 10, 8 for 8, 6 for 6. Okay? Lightweights, heavyweights, we're gonna get going. All right, I don't like to do lunges, but I'm gonna get them in today a little bit. Um, last week I tried, I gave you um, a squat with a high leg so that you could get a little bit more glute engagement without the lunge piece. Now you can add that in if you'd like. Kath, how are you, Kath? Good to see you. Here's Vivian. Vivian just gave Barb a shout out. So, um, so last week I gave you that high toed um, squat so that that engaged the, the glute on one side without having to do a lunge. You can do that again, okay? Or you can join me for the lunges. So, um, hello, Miss Liz. I'm so glad you're on the on the uh, Facebook Live. We got 14 people. We're gonna start, okay? So again, heavy weight, medium weight. Off we go. Let me just fix my camera so you guys can see me. We're gonna start right in. So we've got to warm up. So. We've got lunges, so we're gonna start with our feet just hip width apart. You know I like to start with a lunge back. We're gonna step back, lunge. We're gonna step in and we're gonna step forward, lunge. Okay, we're gonna just stay that side. We're gonna do five on each side. 
So someone's gonna help me count right out of the gate. Patty, I'm hoping you're helping me count, okay? <laughs> There's two. Come on. We're gonna stay on the same side, okay? Step into the center, stepping back. There's three. Now, make sure when you come forward, okay? Here's four. Step to the center. Make sure when you come forward, you're not leaning forward and hurting that, that knee. So lots of balance here. Here's five. Okay, let's get the other leg. So now I'm on my left leg. So left leg step. Let me step back just a little bit. You guys can see me. Step forward. Now try not to move forward. Step, plant, come down, push up through the heel. Okay, back to center. Here's two. And again, we're just warming up. Now if this is too much on the knees, you don't, you can do that. Let me show, I'll show you in one minute. One more. Okay, so here's the option. It's a squat with one toe up. And you can give me five, and then five on the other leg, okay? So just so that if that's hurting your knees, okay? So if that's too much, okay? Um, okay, so everybody ready? We're gonna keep going. Now the second piece is to grab your big plates, and you're gonna have some back pulls, okay? So shoulders up, back and down. Heels right underneath the hips, leaning forward, pulling with the elbows. We got 10. Remember, we gotta do 10 for 10. There's four. Five, six, seven. Again, trying to flex the neck. And 10, beautiful. Okay, so you get some options for your squats or lunges. Here we go, I'm gonna do lunges from the side so you can see me. So we step back to the center, step forward. Let me get more on the camera here. Step back, step forward, step back, step forward. Let me get more so you can see me here. Now I'm on the crack. Jenny, are you doing this workout with me? <laughs> and forward. One more. Let me come this way so you can see me. And again, you shouldn't be tightrope walking here, okay? Make sure that your heels are kind of right underneath your hips. Other side. Kneel. Now, we do lunges all the time in our everyday movements, right? So we're going to do five on each side. Remember, we're going to do ten for ten. So I promise to usually get folks done by about 5.30. Last week went a little bit over time. Okay, awesome. Grabbing those plates again. This is round two. Patty, you watching me? <laughs> Give me a shout out. So we're bending forward, pulling. Here's the side view. Bend forward, nice flat back. Just pull with the elbow. So where are we working? The mid back, okay? Here's five. Seven, eight. Here we go. Round three. Stepping back. And again, you've got options. Hey, oops, wait a minute. Stepping forward, stepping back. We're going to stay on the same leg, okay? Forward, back. And lots of balance. Now, if you want to make this a little bit more of a balance challenge, you can step through and not step to the center, okay? Much tougher. Last set, right? Because your leg is in the air for longer, right? Other side. Let's get the left leg down. Stepping forward, I'm off the camera. <laughs> Here we go. I promised myself I was actually going to turn sideways with the camera this week, and then I forgot when I set it up. I was in so many different areas throughout the house. What do you think? What do you think, Patty, huh? What do you think? A couple more. Good, okay. Here we go. Backs. Now, I've talked about this before. Don't like to have music because I like to be able to teach. So heels should be inside the hips just a little bit. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Chest out. Pull. Now, you can do this just mill. You, can, you know you can do this with your TRX straps. I'm just doing some basic elbow pulls. Try to look straight ahead just a little bit. Elevate the chest. I've probably got three to go. Two. Twelve of you out there. What are you thinking? Good. Vivian, was that 10? Was that 10? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Round four. So we've got 10 for 10, okay? We're coming forward, back again, forward, back again. And again, you can pick that leg up to the side. It's so much tougher, right? Oh, it's much breezier out here. I'm glad I didn't have to go in the house. Okay, again, let's go back more. Good, can't wait to get back to the Y. Oh my God, I'm going back tomorrow. 
It's gonna be great. Now I'm moving toward you, but once you plant that leg, hi Crystal, you should come right down and come right back up through the heel, okay? So we're here, stepping. You can step in the middle, and Jess Miller, if you've got your TRX straps, you know what you're doing, right? Thanks, Vivian. <laughs> okay, we're going back, round four for back pulls. Shoulders up, back and down, heels right inside our hips, tip forward and pull. So try to use the elbows to really squeeze those blades. Okay, look at my neck right in line with my, what we call neutral neck. I think we got four to go. Three, two, notice I'm not doing this. Flexing, just keeping the head in neutral and moving. The elbows are the movers, okay? Round five, we're halfway there. Okay, back and down. Come on, forward, I'm coming right at you. Whew. Stepping back. Step to the center, come forward, come on up to the front heel and the rear toe. Remember, I'm just doing five on each side, so that gives me 10 total. All right, Gail Lopes, are you doing this workout? What are you doing? <laughs> it's good to see you. Woo, okay, second side, five. I'm getting close to the camera, sorry. Vivian, you doing this one or are you? You're getting ready for supper. <laughs> oh, we're all going down to Cape on Thursday. All my trainer friends, I'm so excited. Barb and Vivian and Patty. We've been shooting some content for a great page. It's a free page. You can be part of it. It's called Aim for Stronger, because that's what you should always be doing, aiming for stronger. Whether you're here at the Y with us, training, or you're at some of the other places where the other trainers work, wherever you are, you're always aiming for stronger. That's the key, okay? It's not about shaping the perfect body. It's not about, you know, nipping and tucking things and I mean hey if you have you, whatever if you want to do that that's perfectly fine but it's always about aiming for stronger here here everywhere everything else follows okay we get some back pulls boom oh. come on 10 and we're halfway through now this is always the part that takes the longest as you know because it's always the 10 right so I'm happy to see 12 people on what is a gorgeous day and usually normally a vacation week right Vivian, thanks. Good. Last one. Beautiful. Hey, if you like this video and you see it now, share it later, okay? Or look at it later. It's on that YMCA page, so you can always go back to it. So you don't have to, you know, if you're not ready to work out now, perfectly fine. We got five to go. We're starting here. Come on. Five. Five. Five sets, by the way. Come on, there's two. Liz, how are we doing out there? Three. Come on. Crystal's been hitting it, man. Crystal Dutra with those rhythm and moves parties. She's zooming them and taping them. I love it. That's neat because then you can see people, right, Crystal? I love that. Hey, we're looking at doing some special guest appearances over the next couple of weeks, so look for that too. Okay. Hey, if you're out there and you haven't said hello, say hello to me. I see 15 people now. So excited. When I first started, this 5 o'clock time was not an easy time, right? I'm starting to see some people picking up now. People are like, five o'clock, that's wine time, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Not that I'm advocating that. Most of you know I don't really even drink, but. So we're here, this is six. So squeeze the blades. We're getting the mid back here, the mid back. Sorry, I have my butt, but I want you to see the mid back. Okay. Oh, nice. All right, but again, we've got tons of things on that Y page, tons. So you don't have to just look at, you know, this total body strength. We've got all kinds of things. We're on round seven. We've got rhythm and moves, Zumba. We've got Pilates. We've got yoga. You name it. You name it. It's there. So if you're, you know, you don't want to leave your home or, you know, you don't, afraid of wearing a mask or you just don't want to go, maybe you're compromised immunity and you're afraid to be out a little bit, we understand. We're gonna stay being virtual right with you here. You can also get back to the Y now, or you can do some live classes, right? Hey, where's Bernie O tonight? Sandra, I'm glad Sandra's out there. Sandra Liz is out here too. It's like old home week. All right, good. Hey, San, Nancy did, um, before I forget, apply. So hopefully, you know, keep out for that. She was so excited. So she's a great, great, great person. So thanks for the, you know, the update. I mean, thanks for, for letting me know. All right, round eight, right? Here we go. Oh, I'm sorry, the end of round seven. You gotta watch me. So we're coming here. If you're just joining me, 
We've got 10 for 10 lunges, which are going to strengthen glutes and hamstrings and quads and some back. So we're doing full body. This, thank you, Vivian. I'm working it all right. <laughs> Again, nice neutral spine. A nice neutral neck, rather. Not neutral spine, neutral neck. So here's the side view. Again, nice flat back. <sighs> okay. All right, round eight. Here we go. Two sets to go. Back and forward. We're staying on the same side. So if you're just joining me, we've got right leg lunge, front and back. Right leg lunge, front and back. Rear toe, front heel. Oh my God, 12 people are still out there. I'm so excited. Here we go. Let's go to the left. Left. <sighs> Patty, we're off today, but what does off mean to you, Patty? You know, I don't know. <laughs> Could have meant that you, you know, built a house today. I don't know, Patty Chin. What did you do today? <laughs> I'm always nervous. What kind of bricks did you move? All right, here we go. Back. We're up, back and down. Again, we're working the mid back here, okay? Pull. And again, it's not this. Watch the neck. Just lead with the elbows. Lead with the elbows. Squeeze the blades. These are things that you can do with very little. Uh, you could have two, you know, laundry uh, detergent jugs, right? Patio, okay. <laughs> Patio, it's always something. <laughs> All right, here we go. Number nine. Right, number nine, who's out there counting with me? Pushing. And again, you can make this tougher by stepping through instead of st stepping in the center and moving. But again, whatever you need to do, a lunge is huge core work and huge balance. So it doesn't have to be um, just all leg. People go, you know, oh my God, legs for lunge, whoa. Okay, and it is a lot of leg, right? You're getting the quad in, the hamstring, little bit of calf because you're up on that back toe and you're also getting um, glutes, okay? So you, it's a very compound move. Thanks, Patty. Thanks for keeping track of me. But it's also a lot of core work too, okay? So we step back. I haven't forgotten that left leg. Now, if your knee is starting to bother you, I'm gonna give you an option for the last set, okay? I'm gonna do the option too. When we first became an instructor, well, and there's a teacher too. They always taught us, you can give options all you want, but unless you do the option, people are gonna try to follow whatever it is that you're doing. So here I am, we're gonna do one more set of back, and then we take the option, okay? Here we go. Whew. Right, who are my teachers out there? We know, right? We know what it's like. So we're bending forward. You gotta bend forward, it's just shoulders. But we wanna engage the back. So squeeze the blades. Come on, where's Dawn today? She's not out here, maybe she'll watch us later. She's always making sure I'm... Last week we had huge numbers, it was raining though, right? All right, so I'm gonna take the option here. Here it is. It's a one-legged squat, but it's gonna engage the glutes almost the same way, just gonna get the same balance component, okay? But that's okay. So I'm gonna be on my right leg. My heels are fairly close, okay? On my right leg, full leg and up on the toe of my left. So I come down, I squat, and I really press that toe in a little bit on the front leg. So I'm getting some glute in, obviously the back leg, because that's supporting me. Okay, we'll do five and five. This is the last set. <sighs> okay, other side. And then, then we have, we're up on the toe of this leg. So we did this one last week. It's just my option this week to make sure that if people's knees are starting to bother them. Now sit back onto that heel of the left leg now, okay? And you're up on the toe of the right leg. Last one. Oh my God, let's get some back and we're almost done. Melissa Barboza, hello my friend. What's going on? I haven't seen you in a while. Enjoying the pictures of your beautiful family as always. All right. All right, here we go. Back. And again, last set. Last set. You must have been on my mind, Melissa Barboza, because I'm sitting out here at Bridget's house and her neighbors, they've got some kind of cookout going on. Beautiful. And it was so funny because the man that's over there sounded like your husband. So was, you must have been on my mind. I was sending you that energy, Melissa. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Who else is out there? Oh, good. You're just saying hello. All right. I'm going to dry off, grab some water. 
round two of work. This one has four different things, but we only have to do it eight times, okay? So this one's gonna have um, squats and calf raises, bear crawls, so you need something small, okay? Melissa, up, so uh, small, something for, for tricep extensions. Kneeling overhead, so we'll switch to something heavier. So you're gonna have one plate or dumbbell small, one plate or dumbbell heavy, and lastly, push-ups, okay? Regular push-ups, okay? All right, still got 15 people out there, nice. Just grabbing a quick water. All right, here we go. So, squats to calf raises. This is gonna get some calves in. So this is gonna give you side raises and calves because we haven't really worked on the calf, okay? So we're gonna get all, all facets of the calf. Talking to another one of my favorite trainers today, Miss Laura Hathaway. She uh, emailed me, as I told you, Patty. So, um, just great man, bodybuilder central. She's a bodybuilding judge, so it's nice chatting with her for a little bit. So, all right, so this time we're gonna start with, let me go through all of the exercises. This time it's only movement for eight, okay? But we gotta go around eight times with four of these things. So nice light plates, okay? Because we're gonna do side raises here. So we open up our heels just a little bit, probably outside our hips. Turn the toes out, because this is what we call a plie squat, okay? So if you're a dancer out there, Unlike me, I'm just faking it right now, okay? We're coming down, <laughs> so we're coming down for the squat, because we haven't done real squats yet, and we come up onto the toes to get the calves, and if you want to, you can do the side raise, okay? So we're down and up, whew, down and up. So you're gonna feel the squat here. So this is a compound move, lots of things I'm getting, just for the, the sake of getting things in, two more. We've got shoulders, calves, and again, glutes, okay? All right, beautiful. Now we're gonna do, this one's a tough one. Oh my God, you guys are gonna hate me for this one, but this is gonna be the bear crawl. So I'm gonna put my two small plates in front of me, okay? Turn that down so you can see me. Vivian, you are gonna hate this one, okay? But you're gonna love me for it, okay? So we start with, I'm gonna put them right in front of my hands and also have one free big plate too, okay? This one is killer. So we get into the bear crawl, okay? I think you should teach far. You know what, Jen? I think something, but I'm not gonna say because it's a family show, okay? So here we go. You should look at your, that love headband, okay? So we start with our hands, our, our palms down, and let me show you so you can see what I look like here. Here's the bear crawl, okay? Can you guys see me? Yeah, so, so you wanna have your shins parallel to the, the, the ground, okay? So this is a lot of core work. You've gotta pull that belly button up toward the spine. Don't let everything hang. Nice and tall, okay? Hold yourself up. And then, if that's enough, just stay here, okay? But if it's not, we're gonna do a tricep kickback, okay? We're gonna do four on each side. Actually, let's do, well, I'm gonna alternate this time, but we'll do four on each side on the way back. I'm in the second round. So here's the kickback and kickback, okay? So that was not easy. So we go on. So that was compound, right? We got core, we got shoulders, we got triceps, we got legs. Now let's grab our large plate and get some overheads. Okay, I'm just kneeling, overhead and up. Get back so you guys can see me. Kneeling and up. Here's the side view. Okay, so it's right, right to the base of the head, straight up. Try to keep the elbows nice and tight. Elbows nice and tight. Remember, we got eight to go. Who's still with me? Say hello out there. Beautiful, there's eight, okay? Uh, and push-ups, here we go. So we got eight push-ups. Now again, you know you can do these on up against the table, up against the bench, up against the chair, up against the wall, TRX straps, chest, a little bit of chest. I'm gonna do them from the ground, on my knees, how's that, okay? So here we go. Well, actually, let me do it toes to the first set. There's seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Being on your knees is perfectly fine, okay? Please don't feel like, you know, that's a problem, okay? Sometimes it's, it's awesome. Hi, San, you still with me? That's good. All right, Jeannie, awesome. I'm glad you're still with me, good. All right, so we're back again. Here's round eight. We come up, so it's a plie squat, heels outside our hips, coming down for the squat. Here's the side view, right? Make sure you get the squat. Coming up onto the toes, working the calves, and give me the side raise. Remember, plates are never higher than shoulders. 
Why? So you don't want to pinch that acromion process. Whew. Last one. Calves. Really make sure the calves are firing, right? Okay. Oh my god, we go back to the bear crawls now, right? All right, let's do one side at a time. So I only need one plate, okay? So here's the bear crawls. We're coming here. Get to your bear crawl position. Let's do four. Four, three, two, one. Let's get to the other side. Let me look at you this way so you can see me. Okay, make sure that the, you've, you don't want to be up like this. You want to make sure that you're down below. If this is too much for you, just give me a regular tricep extension. You can even be standing and doing this, okay? I'm just giving you a little bit extra blast of core, okay? So if you want to stay here for this, four, three, two, one. It's an extra blast of core and legs a little bit, okay? Overheads. There we go. It's eight, seven. Now, why am I kneeling? Well, for the camera's sake, too but it also takes the legs out of the exercise, really gets you to focus on the triceps back of the arm, okay? Push-ups, here we go. Patty, you with me on this? I'll try to do toes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, coming right back up. We're on round six. Beautiful. Okay. Oh my God, I'm working the shoulders. Everything on this one, right? The calves. Oh my, there's still 12 of you out there. I'm so happy. All right, we set wide. We turn the toes out. So if the plie squat is enough, that's fine. Just give me the plie squat. Squat to toe raise. Can you see my toes? So squat to toe raise. I, I've dropped the plates for just a minute. If you want, you can even use hands. Okay. Nice and tall. Last one. Bear crawls. Oh my God, the crowd is getting bigger. It's 13 of you out there. Here we go, bear crawls. And again, option here, I'm just gonna kneel, okay? And give you four, three, two, one. Other side. Four, three, two, one. Flex that tricep, okay? What else is going? overheads here and up thanks for being with me you guys this is great you know over the summer it's just sometimes you don't see a lot of people in class I've been teaching for 20 years meaning uh, fitness classes I think you know with the pandemic folks have really been just looking for stuff to do right so here we are providing some great quality stuff here. I'm gonna be on my knees for a push-up here we go we got eight eight seven Six, push to the palms. Ugh. Come on. Whew. Good. All right, awesome. Coming back up again. I'm gonna bring my plates back in. Can you guys see me? Maybe you can see the, the feet this time, okay? So we're out a little bit wider. Turn the toes. Coming on down, up. Whew. And up, you've lost my head, but that's okay. I'd rather see, see my bottom here, okay? There we go. Let's see the toes. You got several muscles in your calf, two heads of the gastrocnemius and your soleus. People like to hear that, I know. They like to hear all the anatomy stuff. I've gotten a lot of, a lot of comments about that. So just make sure you understand. You've got two lateral medial head and then your soleus. So, you know, you don't want to rip a calf muscle and move too quickly. So you want to strengthen those calf muscles. It's only women out here, as I know, unless there are any men that have not said hello to me. A lot of women wear heels, we wear high boots, things like that. So we already sometimes have strong calves, but are they flexible? Can you move, right? Do you have that range of motion with the calf too without it cramping up? So that's important too with this exercise. All right, where am I? Back to bear crawls. Let me get to bear crawls again. We're here. We're going to get low. So we're anchoring on one arm. Oh, this is tough. One, two, three. Four. Let's get to the other side. I don't even know what what what. Uh, to get that back nice and flat. Lift the hips a little bit, but make sure the knees are low and the shins are parallel to the ground. Okay. All right. Overheads, Patty. What number is this set? Is this four? I think so. Right. Yeah. So we got four to go. 
Who's still with me now? When we're done with this whole set, all we've got is some abs to do. Some bridge stuff, some, some Barb O'Donnell stuff today, okay? All right, here we go. Again, now if you are done with legs and you're just done with calves, just stay and give me side raises. You got any types of thing that you can do, just move. That's the key. Tammy Martin, so glad you're out there. I was getting nervous, you know. You've been in almost every class I've done. So I was like, Tammy Martin, I hope, hope she's okay. I thought maybe you were on vacation, Tam, but thanks for saying hi. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we're here, open. Again, just squat a little bit, come up onto the toes. Give me the side raise if you can. So you're still coming onto the heels. You want to get the glute in, right? Okay, the hamstring. But we're adding the lift to the toes so that we can get a little bit more transitional movement, give us some calf strength. All right, awesome, beautiful. Sand, good, you're still out there. Oh my God, it's bear crawls again. Did I forget push-ups last time? Did I forget them? I think I did. I gotta do a double set of push-ups. Okay, you're like, no. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're back to bear crawls. <sighs> Come on. And four. Here's the other side. I gotta do a double set of push-ups with you guys. Oh, this is tough. Now, if you wanna actually do the move where these are in front of you and pick it up one by one, that gets a little bit more ab in if you just want a little bit more ab. All right, we got two sets of eight to do for push-ups. Come on now. I'll do one set on my toes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take a quick shake. I got one more set. Let's do it. I'm gonna do my sec the second set on my knees. This is from the last round. I don't think I did them, so let's make sure we're being honest, right? Because I hate to use the word cheat, but you're only cheating yourself, right? Here we go. On my knees, eight. Push to the palms, elbows kind of by your sides a little bit. There's four, three, two, one. Where are we feeling that? You're gonna feel a push up in many places, right? You're gonna feel a push up right here, okay, your pectoralis major. You may feel a little bit of shoulder head, anterior shoulder head, and you're probably gonna feel a little bit of back, so, um, and rear delt. So, you know, you can feel that. I, I know I don't feel shoulders as much when I do the push-up, but the next day, I'm like, wow, why am I feeling that from the push-ups, okay? All right, here we go. We are on, Patty, what round are we on? I think this is five. Four to go, yep, four to go, okay. Patty, thank God you're here. What would I do without you, you know? What would I do without you anyway, Patty Chen? Vivian, you're important to me too. Okay, here we go. Whew. So let me give you my feet here. So we're here, a little wide, turn the toes out. Come on up. Whew. Ooh, this is not easy. So we're heel to toe, heel to toe. Once again, sweating crazy, sweating crazy. Whew. Not easy. Two more, one more. Whew. So again, compound move, lots of abs in that compound move. All right, what have we got? Bear crawl. So if we want to make this harder, here it is. The bear crawl. You can have your hands on the dumbbells. We're coming here and coming here. So I'm going to alternate now. This is the tough one, right? Because every time you move a hand and support yourself, you readjust to the core, right? Okay. Hi, Frank Mon. How are you? All right, here we go. Coming up. I'm gonna come here a little bit, although that might be a little bit dangerous. <laughs> okay, so there's four and four. Just be careful, make sure that if you're on, like I just did, make sure you're on dumbbells. It's probably a little precarious with the plates I had. Okay, overheads. There we go. Continuing to work the triceps, a little bit more isolated. Liz, how are we doing out there? Are you still with me? Everybody all set? Maybe Caroline's doing this workout too, yes? No? <laughs> All right, I promise push-ups this time. I promise. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Jess Miller, how you doing out there? I'm just going to dry off for one minute. We've got three sets to go. Okay. Side raises. And again, calf raises. A little bit wider. And up onto the toes. We're coming here. Come on, working the full legs, working the core. You gotta find a 
in yoga we call this the drishti. Find a place to really balance or to look at so you can keep your balance. Find one spot and go there. Okay, find a spot and go there. So that's really gonna help you through the core. All right, let's come here. Bear crawls, again, not easy. Come in here, let me go back a little bit so you can see me. Low, this is tough. Three, two, one. Oh my word, that's tough. Again, you're bouncing on one side, so you're getting your obliques, right? Make sure you drive that belly button up into the spine. Nice. Overheads, push-ups. I've got one foot up just to brace my low back a little bit. You can have one foot up. You can be kneeling on both knee, uh, knees, both kneels. I'm making words up. Whew. So yeah, so I did a 25 mile bike ride today. It was nice, it was just beautiful today. Really cool out this morning. Um, it was just great, I was just so, so grateful. I'm gonna take a moment to say thank you to the universe for just a wonderful year I've had, and yeah, the wonderful life I've had, truly. I will be truly thankful, but you know, everybody has their ups and downs. It's important to be grateful, no matter what. Every, every thing that happens to us, I won't say happens for a reason, because sometimes that's hurtful to say that, but everything that happens to us is something that we take with us and, you know, uh, helps us to be who we are, for good or for bad, right? So today I am grateful for just this beautiful weather, for a beautiful summer vacation, um, for all of you, for the, the fact that the Y is open again and that we're all hopefully safe and healthy, everyone in my immediate circle, and I hope that you've experienced that too. So a moment of gratitude. Okay, let us do a little push-ups. We're almost done. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I did that so you could rest too, okay? I was being grateful, but you have to rest too. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's just do some side raises. I'm gonna stay right on my knees for a little bit, okay? I'm gonna, not gonna put the calves back in. This is round what, Patty? Seven, I think, right? Seven. Come on. Woo. All right, grabbing those. We still got 13, 14 people with us. We're almost done. Vivian, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Last one. All right. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to do bear crawls. What am I doing? Bear crawls. Coming on down. Oh, my God. Who thought of these? What was I thinking after a 25 mile bike ride today? Good. On the side. Actually, 25 miles is not that crazy. I have a nice bike, but I'd really like to have some kind of triathlon bike or an all-carbon bike, in which case 25 miles is barely a sweat. Right? Okay, I did things out of order, so now we're doing push-ups. Okay, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, anybody can get in shape, right? Anybody can get in shape. You just have to eat as well as you can. Thank you, Sandra. And, and move as best you can, right? It's, it's not about, you know, being a bodybuilder or doing anything crazy or, you know, eating, you know, a radish and two cucumbers all day. I mean, you can eat. I have pizza and all kinds of stuff, but, you know, you just got to, you know, eat accordingly and, you know, not go crazy, especially with starchy carbs. You know, it's mostly fruits, vegetables, quality meats, unless you're vegetarian. I know some of you are vegetarian out there. Okay, here we go. Last set. And it's about movement, you know? And you know, I hear it all the time from clients. Oh my gosh, you know, I haven't worked out in forever. Now it's gonna take me a long time to get back. No, it's not get back. It's, it's, it's just the journey, right? The journey's not gonna end until it ends, sadly. So keep moving, right? Okay, couple more. Keep moving, there's no beginning, no end, no start, no finish, right? All right, last set. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Drive that belly button up toward the spine. Come on, we're almost done. Who's still with me? 15 people, that's crazy. Crazy. Hey, do a watch party later, you know? If you like this workout, you wanna have some friends do it, bring them in. 
bring them over. Get together. What have I got? 18 people out. That's crazy. People get home from work. They're joining me. Patty, thank you. You are a doll. Okay, push-ups. Almost done. We'll take a quick break. We go to this last round of bridge, side plank, and elbow plank. We're almost done. We're gonna get some quality core cool work in the low back. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow. All right, stretch out. Oh, Bernie, where you been? Oh, because you're too busy doing everybody else's class. That's nice, Bernie. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll remember that. Stretch the triceps. <laughs> Bernie, I miss you. Where you been? You just logging on now? You thought it was 5.30, didn't you? Yeah, I'm gonna dry off, grab some water, I'll be right back. You need a mat for this portion of the show. That's it, okay? Did you think I left? No, I'm still here. I'm just drying off. Look at my hair. I gotta get a haircut, huh? I gotta dry off my feet. Jeannie, are you still out there, Jeannie? Are you working with me? All right, so we're gonna be down. This is four different exercises. We're not gonna count, okay? Even though it's 10, 8, 6. We're gonna do six rounds, but it's not six um, reps. We're just gonna do between, we're gonna be able to do about five seconds, okay? So I'm just gonna kinda count five Mississippis, okay? If Jen Hader's still out there, maybe she can put a timer on, okay? I don't know. <laughs> Here's the bar portion of the show, Jen, for you, okay? All right, so clear out some room. Everybody's a comedian, aren't they? Yeah. All right. We're gonna lay back. We're gonna, at the end, I wanna thank Barb O'Donnell for this one, okay? Trainer Barb O'Donnell from, uh, from years back when I was training. So um, we are going to get on our backs, lift into a bridge. Now, what can you do if you don't want to be on the ground? I would say, let's do a one-legged stand, okay? So here it is. So let's, I'm standing on my uh, left leg. Let's lift the right leg up. You can maybe even do victory pose, okay? Here it is. Let's come to the forward way, okay? Victory pose, okay? And just stay and try each leg, okay, for the five seconds. So that's gonna give you something very similar, okay? All right, so then we're gonna do some side planks. So again, you can do side planks on a table. Um, you can do them. Jess, you could even on your TRX grab both handles and give me a side plank, okay, on your TRX strap. So if you don't, you're not able to really, um, you know, pop down, okay? Oh, Patty, you look fine, thank, thank you. <laughs> Patty, spoken like a true good friend, right? Your hair looks like crap, and you're like, oh, it looks good, it looks good. Thanks, Patty. I'm just kidding, but I do need a haircut, though. All right, so we're going to come here. We're going to get the bridge in first. Let me just bring this down just a little bit so you can see me. Can you see me okay? <laughs> Lay back nap time. No, Vivian, it's not nap time, my darling. Vivian, what have you been doing? Nap time. All right, so we start with the bridge. Now, I'm good, my soles and my feet on the ground. It's tough for you to see me because it's a vertical. Let me go a little bit further back. So, so hands down, whoops, okay? You're gonna have your head on the ground, just lift, to, so the heels should be toward your glutes, okay? Toward your hips, toward your bum. Pick up, try to lift the hips as high as you can, but also pump the chest as well. Push the chest out, okay? You don't wanna be just lifting through the glutes. You wanna get the chest up too because a bridge is like a back bend almost, okay? Use your hands. All right, that's probably about five seconds. I'm gonna roll onto my elbow, okay? I'm gonna stack my feet, you can't really see. I'm gonna come up and do a side plank on my elbow, okay? And if that's too hard, you can bring a leg underneath you and send one leg up, okay? Can you see that? Nice straight line here, okay? There's about five seconds. We're gonna roll over onto our elbows. I'm on my toes, but you can be on your knees. Can you guys see me? So elbows are right underneath shoulders. Try to keep your hips up. I'd rather see you high than low, okay? All right, and then we're going to get the other side. I'm just going to come around this way so you can see me. You know, I don't have my bum to your face, okay? So we're on this side now. Stack the feet. Whoops. I'm off the rug and that hurts. So we stack the feet on the elbow and up. And you might have one side that's stronger than the other. Don't feel bad about that. Okay, beautiful. Now let's come right around. That's one. Bridge, round two. Here we go. Ugh. 
So we're here, pick up the heels, I mean push off the heels, pick up the hips, lift the chest, inflate to the chest, tip the chin just a little bit. My ponytail's kind of controlling where my head goes, but if I was doing yoga, I'd actually take my ponytail out. So my head was flat to the ground, but it's okay. I don't want my, my righty hair not in a ponytail right now because that's going to be even worse. Okay, so we're coming here. And again, you can have one knee down and up. See, I've got, let me get over here so you can see me. So one knee down and a hand up, okay? So just get the hips up. You're going to work, you're going to feel the glute right here. You're going to feel the obliques. Back around for a nice little plank, all right? And again, elbows right underneath shoulders. And other side. Let me come this way so you can see me. Stack the legs and up. I know off out of the camera just a little bit, I know. Okay, and coming on down. All right, round three. Oh my God, let me come this way so you can see my whole body. Oh, what's going on, huh? <laughs> We're almost done. We're almost done. I don't know what time it is, Patty. Can you let me know? So we've got, we've got our legs. Try to get your heels close to your bum. Lift up. Get the, inflate the chest. Again, five seconds. What are you working here? Glutes, right? Low back. Whew. Okay, I'm going to stay this way so you can kind of see a different angle of me, okay? It's not great because me and many different angles. One angle is not enough, right? Okay, let's come here. My left elbow. Let's stack the legs and come on up. Nice tight line. You're going to feel the oblique on the side that you're lifting. So if I'm on my left hand, you're going to feel the obliques, okay, here on that left side. Let's get our elbows right underneath our shoulders. We're almost done. Try to keep your head right in line with your body. Nice neutral neck. Relax the hands. And lastly, Again, five seconds. If you can go longer, that's great when you do this on your own. It's still got 11 people out here. This is awesome. 541, nice. Awesome, we're almost done. Let's get on the right side. Stack the feet. Come on up. So now I'm going to feel the right obliques. Your shoulders working here. Patty, what have I got? So halfway done. Four to go, right? We're almost done. We're here. Bridge. Big deep breath in, inflate the chest. Really get into that, that little bit of a back bend. Some of you can probably do a wheel pose. Some of you might be able to grab your ankles with your hands. That's great. Some of the yoga people out there really feel the glutes in the low back. All right, let's go to the left, left side. We're here, stack the legs, come on up. So we're working everything here. Working shoulders, we're working obliques, we're working glutes, right? Your glutes are coming in when you're on your side like that. Now, you can lift a leg. I'm going to do that in the last set. Still 12 people out there. Crazy. All right. Thanks for joining me again. So grateful. Okay. We're here. If you want to, last week we lifted a leg, right? Lift a leg. Makes it a little bit tougher. You can really engage the glutes a little bit in the abs if you do that. If you want to take it a little bit further, right? And we go around to the right side. Here we go. Stack the feet. And if you want to lift a leg, that's tough. I can do that a little bit more if I had my yoga mat. It's a little tough on the edge of my foot on this um, rug. But try it at home if you'd like to, okay? Just this rug is not strong enough for me here. And up. Or you could do this way. You could do this way and lift the leg. We'll try it on the other side. How's that, okay? Last set. Last set, bridge. Bridge, lift. Here's the side view. You can hear my dog barking because God forbid he would not bark. Carmine saying hello to you, Patty. So lift, get the glutes in. You're also gonna feel the obliques a little bit. Big deep breath in. Inflate the chest and let it go. Okay, this time, let's go to the side. So I'm gonna do left. I'm gonna get my, my left leg under me and now I can lift the right leg if I want to. Wow, I'm gonna feel the the glutes on that side, beautiful. Let's come around, back to planks. Now I like to do full body, total body, 
total body with lots of different moves, right? Lots of different things are firing. Still troll people out there, thanks so much. So we want to see lots of pieces of the body firing, right? I mean, you know, when do we ever move in just a plane of a bicep or a tricep or, you know, a crunch? We would be bent down, but all the, you know, you're going to get legs that are going to fire. You're going to get shoulders that are going to fire. You're going to reach for things. So we move in many planes of motion. We have to train in many planes of motion too. Okay, last set. So we're here. We're going to lift the leg. Come on up. Wow, I can feel the glute right here. Flex that upper foot and bring it on down. All right, my friends, it has been a wonderful time. Thanks for joining me. Thanks to my counters. You guys are great. Thanks so much again. I try to remind people early in the morning on Facebook to let them know that um, you know, we're here. I'm going to be here on Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Um, look for some guests to join me too over the next couple of weeks. We might, you know, it's going to be kind of like might be a little bit like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. People will be knocking on the door and then might join me in the workout. So I'll let you know, okay? But stay tuned for that to keep it fresh, keep it real. Stay safe. Come back to the wise if you're feeling okay. Um, again, you've got lots of options. You've got virtual, which is going to stay probably until the end of August, maybe even longer than that. So you've got all these virtual classes. Um, oh, you did put it on the floor. Jess Miller. Yes. Jeannie, thank you so much um, for the kind words always. You've also got real life Kath. Kathy Halpin. Even the bear crawls. You're very welcome, Kath. Um, Sandra, awesome. So you've got real life classes. You can come in and you can also um, come to the Y and do your workout. All of those those classes, you actually have to do a reservation. So you got to go through our DAXCO system. So um, Liz, I hope you enjoyed the workout. I'm so glad you're still here. So, all right, listen, stay tuned. So happy that everyone's here. Please continue to enjoy your week. Some of you might be on vacation. Um, you're very welcome, Tammy Martins. Have a great week. Have any questions, feel free to, to Facebook message me, uh, Facebook me, text me. Some of you have my number. Email me, whatever you want to do. Hey, Jess Miller, we can start personal training again, weight training for women, so I'll get back in touch. So hopefully next week we can, we can get back to, back to what we did so well and had so much fun, right? All right, take care, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I'm Kerry McElroy. You're looking at YMCA, Why Without Walls, South Coast uh, group fitness exercise classes. Why Without Walls, take care.